it's Sam from Cavi and today I'm going to be showing you how to fold your Corox or Coroplast sheets for your CNC cages. Um, so as you know with Corox it is used as the base of your CNC cage, the actual material is the base of it, so you don't need the grids or anything at all. Um, it's waterproof, it's lightweight, it's foldable and it's super easy to clean, so one of the easiest bases that you can have for your CNC cages. And here at Cavi we make it a little bit extra nicer for you. It already comes folded, it comes pre-cut and scored. Um, we also have little feature locks that you can do, so you slot the locks inside so it's completely easily assembled. So what we'll do is, I'll talk you through it now, so don't worry. Um, we're gonna go through a three by two, four by two, five by two, and a six by two Corox sheet. So how you'll fold those ones depending on how big your cage size is. So, let's just go into it. <laughs> So we've just popped our cage just out of the way there and we're now going to choose our Corox that we're going to start folding. So we're just going to need a 3x2 base for that one. As you can see we have lots of different colours. Um, I'm going to be lazy and choose the one closest to me. So <laughs> I've gone for green. So once you've kind of laid it out you can pop it open and lay it out flat. So you'll kind of notice that once you've laid it out there's some bits that you need to start folding. So you'll see the little lines to start going and you can just add a little bit of force to them because they're a little bit sturdy but we're going to try and flex them up a little bit so you can kind of push a little bit on there just making sure that they're nice and folded and we're going to do the same to all four sides and you would have noticed by now the corners of the actual sheet hopefully um, so the difference with these ones is you won't need any tape or any glue or anything like that all you need to do is just put the tabs inside the slots so we're gonna just go from the outside in we're gonna feed the tab through and we'll just pull it all the way through as well so there we go so it's nice and secure just like that we do it from the outside in because that way when you're putting it into the cage it's a little bit easier it kind of won't get stuck on the grids on the way down so it's the best way we find there we go doing the same all the way around so getting the tab from the outside in feed it through and pull it all the way in it's like a nice little click sound as well so you'll definitely know that the tabs are in last one and there we go so now that you've kind of folded that one up and making sure that the kind of edges are nice and straight we're going to bring the cage back and we're just going to put it inside the three by two now that we've got the sheet kind of in front of us, open it up. You're going to notice that it's uh, pretty big. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, I'll just kind of move myself back. So uh, you're going to notice there's kind of bits that are already kind of outlined. These are the bits you're going to want to fold. So these are kind of like the little slab parts. So let's get them. They're a little bit robust now. We kind of want them to be a bit more flexible. So just fold them in. And once again, we apply a little bit of force to it, kind of fine. There we go. And they'll just kind of go with you, so you won't have to kind of really, really tug at them. So don't try and rip them or anything. So, like I said, if they're quite, you'll feel kind of how sturdy they are as you're folding. So this part is when you'll know that it'll be fine for the cage. <laughs> This is like really satisfying to me, like this part where you're not like folding, because it just, oh, it just goes. <laughs> right, so with this one, you don't need any tape, you don't need any glue, nothing like that. You can probably see it by now, they've got little slabs themselves that you can just kind of put it into little feature locks that we have. So, we're going to go from the outside in, so you see the little tab, we're going to just push it from the outside, feed it through, you can grab it and then just pull it all the way through as well. There we go, so there's your first one done and we'll just do the same with the rest of the corners. Ooh. There we go, so put that one up from the outside, feed it through and pull it in. And it just kind of does it really quite simply actually, so not too much trouble. There we go, up. Feed it through. Go out from the other end. Ooh. No, don't go. There we go. Put it through. And just pull. There we go. So it 
should look like this when it's done. It's a four by two kind of base, little sort of shelvy area almost. So what we'll do is I'm now going to get the cage back and we'll just put it inside and I'll see you in a bit. So with the 5x2 cage, you're actually going to have two of the Korok sheets here. I've gone for a grey colour, but you can choose any of the colours on our website. Um, I'm going to have three of the, sorry, two of the 3x2 sizes. So what we'll do now is we'll open one of them up. Um, what we're going to do is just fold the, the bits where it kind of set, they're like little slabby parts that you can just see. They're a little bit outlined, so you can just fold those over and really push on them because we're going to try and make them as flexible as we can. Uh, we'll do it to all of the sides. Oh, that's nice. That's when you know. That's nice. Okay, and this one too. And what we'll do is we can fold the end one as well, but we're not actually going to keep it folded up. And that will make sense in a moment. Um, <laughs> So now that we've kind of done that one, what we're going to do is because we have to overlay these ones into the cage, so we're going to focus on just folding up two of the corners and then when we add the other sheet, we're going to add the other two corners as well. So to make that make sense, with the folding part of these Korok sheets, you do not need any of uh, tape, any glue, anything like that. All you need to do is just use the feature locks. So you can kind of see what tab, needs to go where. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the outside in, so we're going to feed it through the little hole there and just pull on the tab to kind of complete it. And we'll do the other one the exact same as well. So from the outside, feed it through, whoops, and then pull it through as well. So there's our first one. What we can do is just pop that one just a little bit out of the way, just so we've now got room to fold the other one too. So I've put that one onto the left, so that can be the left side of the Korox there. There we go. And just really, like I said, trying to make them just a little bit more flexible, just so they're kind of easy to fold. There we go. So we may as well just kind of overlap them now, just to kind of leave it like that. And let's do the exact same. So from the outside in, Pull the tab through all the way. There's also like a little clip where you kind of pull it through so you know it's like it's there and it's staying because these are very sturdy enough by themselves. There we go, and there's the other two there for you as well. So I'm now gonna bring the cage back and actually put them on the inside. You might be thinking right now these, you know, they might fall down or something like that, but no, the weight of the cage will actually keep them all together and they're actually gonna look really smart when we put them in the cage. So I'll bring it back and show you how to put them in. So we've got your cage out of the way, we've gone to a different space. Uh, what we've got is we've got two Korox sheets here. So this is for our six by two. So for this one, we actually have two of the three by two sheets here. So what we'll do is we'll start folding those ones. So I'm just gonna pop one out of the way just for a second. Hiya. So when you get these ones, you're gonna have little kind of, um, almost like rims that you can see where you need to fold. So just get those ones and just kind of fold them down as easy as that. So just kind of making them a little bit more flexible because right now they're very robust. So use a little bit of weight just to kind of really fold those ones over because you're going to need to kind of fold them. And you will have noticed as well on the edges um, these ones are feature locks, so little bits in there that you can kind of keep to securely keep them folded, and that's what we're going to do next. So no tape, no glue. So lift it up a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to go from the tab from the outside. So we'll lift that up, feed it through where the slot is. Whoopsie! And then you can pull it through. There we go. Good trick kind of there is when you feed it through, just hold on to the outside, otherwise you'll let go of it just like I do. So, <laughs> same again on the other side. So what we're not going to do for this one is with a 3 by 2 cage, usually you would fold all three of them and that would be it, or sorry, all four of them and that would be all. But for this one we're actually going to leave the two there, because when we put it in the 6 by 2 they're actually going to overlay on top of each other. So as long as two corners are folded, and then what we're going to do with this one is that we're going to fold the opposite two. So the exact same thing again. 
of just kind of folding over. We're pros at this now. This part's fine. This is like the, the relaxation part of a workout. This is like <laughs> the bit where it's like, oh, cool, yeah, I can do this bit. Cool. So just place it on the top if you want to. Um, and same again. So we're going to get the little tabs from the outside in, feed through and pull through. And same again, feed through, hold on to it. And there we go. So it's going to kind of sit like this inside the cage. Um, it will obviously rip the cage kind of guy just like that. So it'll kind of hold itself up. So what we'll do is we're going to bring the cage back and we'll place it inside. So additionally, there's also the option to kind of fold your Coroplast sheets both in the three by twos. So folding all sides, all four corners, as you can see. And that way it kind of slots right in there and it creates almost like a little compartment, almost like a little bridge. Beginning things can kind of hop over and things like that. Lose a little bit of weight, you know, we all need to do it. So <laughs> we can do that for our guinea pigs as well. And it also kind of slots in that a little bit easier, but it's completely up to you whether you want to fold it all four corners or just fold the two and keep it as an open space. So now that you've kind of just popped your cage just a little bit out of the way and you've got your sheets ready, you'll notice that things are a little bit different from the base that we did earlier. So we have the actual loft part. So that's where it's going to kind of sit just in there, obviously when it's folded. And we have the ramp connecting the two levels together. So same as before, we're just going to fold them up and just get that little bit of flexibility that we needed from the same before. Oh, there we go. And you'll kind of see the same feature slots that we used before as well. Um, that part is, we're practically pros at that now, so that's fine. Ugh. these things like oh there we go there we go <laughs> so same again just adding a little bit more flexibility to them not forgetting the little tabs as well cool so the easiest way to kind of start with this is is always making sure that the part where the ramp is going to connect to the um to the loft is on your left um recently i've done it on the right and it doesn't really work depending on what way you want your ramp and things like that but easiest way is definitely from the left so we are gonna no almost got me as well making sure that the two rounded edges are lined up together as well because this is going to slot into this one so um may as well start to feed through like we've done before so i'm going to start with the little tabs first Ugh. There we go, there's one. Oh, it's come back out again, hasn't it? There you go. So feeding them through and then just pulling through at the bottom. So it's probably easier to do this on the same level. There we go. So as we're folding it up, this is the only time we're ever going to do this because I know I've been teaching you to do it from the outside in. This time only is going to be from the inside out. I had to rethink about that then. So <laughs> we're just going to lift up. So from the inside out, we're just going to pull the tab through and all the way just to kind of securely fasten the ramp there. So that is absolutely definitely not going to budge. That's the kind of securest way to do it. And now forget that you ever did it. We didn't do that. We're always doing from the outside in from now on. So same as before, we're going to lift up outside in, get the tab, feed it through and pull it all the way. And then that can kind of be folded upright properly now as well. And we'll do the same for the last one as well. So outside in, feed through, ooh, pull all the way. And the same again, where have we gone? From the outside in and pull through. There we go. So that's what it will kind of look like when it's all done. You can just kind of extra pull the little ramp slides in there. There we go, so it'll kind of sit like this, not too much because that's still a bit too steep, but we'll place it in now. So if you've already done your lid, you can just open that one up, let it rest a little bit, and we can just place it straight inside. Whoosh. There we go. Cool. So that is what it will look like, and then we can put the lid back on top. So that's it for today's video everybody, thank you so so much for watching, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, our website is in the link in the description so definitely check that out as well, um, we have an Instagram, follow us over there too, so thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next one, bye!